Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, by way of uh, repentance and having faith on Yahweh Shai. All right, double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So uh, this um, article, what you see here, is just showing you more of uh, Esau's uh, pride, man. All right? And as the Lord, the scripture says that pride comes before fall. Now, here it is. You got, um, I think he's a senator, okay, um, named Tom Cotton. <clears throat> Title reads, Dangerously Delusional. Tom Cotton claims U.S. would win Iran war with uh, ran, I, when Iran war with two strikes. You know, and a, a brother posted this in the um, in the chat, man. You know, and as as prophets, that's what we're supposed to be doing. You know, we're supposed to be uh, you know warning. You know, even if we can't uh, uh, you know bring out the information, you know, you give it to other brothers that they could bring it out, man. All right, that's the mindset you know that you're supposed to be in. You're supposed to be constantly watching. And then, you know, constantly feeding the sheep, man. All right. So that the blood can be off your hands. Because as, as the Lord said, the, the, the servant that knew to do the Lord's will and didn't shall be beaten with many stripes, man. And we are unprofitable servants. So we're supposed to give all diligence to make our calling and election short. And a part of that giving all diligence is watching and warning, man. All right. As David said, I believe, therefore I have spoken. So we got to be uh, active uh, members in, in the in the army of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You can't be slacking. You can't be slothful. You're supposed to be apt to teach, man. All right. When when opportunity presents itself, you're supposed to be uh, uh, apt to teach and warn the sheep, man. OK, so, you know, I just want to bring that out there, man, because you know, that's something I was just, you know, when I seen it in the article in the, in the in the chat, you know, I was just thinking, you know, that's how we're supposed to be in this thing. You know, if, if you know, if I see an a article and I, I can't put it up at that very moment. You know, I throw it in the chat. And then Lord willing, another brother, you know, brings it out. Okay? And it's all about, you know, for the edification, building up of the elect. It's not about ourselves, man. All right? This is not about ourselves. We just hope to be partakers of the consolation of the elect. Okay? But ultimately, it's about feeding the sheep and, and sealing the elect so that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, can, uh, you know, return. And deliver us from the hands of our enemies and establish the kingdom of heaven on earth, man, which is the kingdom of Israel. So, uh, you know, going back to the article. All right. Uh, showing once again, showing more of the uh, delusion, as it says here, dangerous delusion. OK, of Esau, Edom, you know, and really this this embodies what he says, embodies the mindset of, uh, you know, America. OK, a.k.a. Babylon. All right. Babylon, the great. All right. These people here, these Babylonians are drunk with the wine of the uh of this philosophy he's thinking that this place was going is going to stand forever all right and this place is is uh, uh can never be touched all right as the scriptures calls it the uh the virgin whore but this uh whore is about to get hit with uh millions of millions of rods man all right so read the article real quick it says u.s republican senator tom cotton is facing severe criticism from pub from the public after bombastically claiming that the U.S. would win a war with Iran in just two strikes. While speaking to Margaret Hoover for the aptly named show Firing Line, the Arkansas senator said, in a, said a war with Iran would not drag on for decades like the failed war with its neighbor, Iraq. Instead, he claimed it would end after two, after the first so like it would end after the first strike and last strike, you know, and, and clearly, man, these uh, Edomites, they're they're bugged out of their mind. But he's right about one thing. The war that's going to come. All right. Which is going to be the war with uh, Persia, a.k.a. Iran. OK. And uh, Russia is going to get involved also, which this war is the third world or the third war, the third uh, world war. All right. Which is uh, also called the army, the 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 uh, Armageddon, Hammer God one. This war is not going to go on for decades. But what he, uh, what he's failed to realize is that America is going to be destroyed. All right, America is going to lose. 
And it's not just going to lose, all right, a couple of, uh, you know, soldiers. America is the actual landmass, the actual country is going to be wiped off the face of the earth, man. Thus saith the scriptures, all right? And Esau has his uh, heart deceived, thinking that this war, which they know, all right, these, these, these elites, all right, they know what's, what's coming, man. All right, they know what's coming. But they think that they're going to win. But um, they got something else coming for them, man. <laughs> All right. So keep on going. It says, Khan went on to claim that while he is not an advocate of for war, which all these Edomites always say, man. What is that? Going back to Psalm the 50, 55th chapter, that his words were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Okay. That's what's in their mind, man. Why do you think America has been at, at some type of war for over 95% of its uh, existence, man. Okay? I think it said, like, America's been only a country for, like, 200 and, I think, 12 years or something like that, or 202 years, something like that. And it's been at war for, like, 193 years or some type of war. So they are advocate for war, man. He is the man uh, uh, of the sword. All right? That was his blessing. That's what Esau does. All right? That's what that's what all these Edomites. That's in the only thing that's in their mind is is pillaging, rape, robbing, murdering, and uh, war, man. But that's why Yahweh Shah, when he comes, the scripture says that in righteousness does he judge and make war because he's going to make war with these devils, man. But the war that the Lord's going to make is going to be to bring to to bring down the wicked and to establish the righteous, which is what the kingdom of Israel. All right, it says. Kai went on. To claim that while he is not an advocate of war, he wanted to warn the notion that any provocation against the U.S. interests would be met with a furious response. I don't advocate military action against Iran. I'm simply delivering the message that if Iran were to attack the United States, it would be a grave miscalculation on their part and there would be a furious response. All right. Yeah. So he's, he's trying to basically give out a threat saying that if uh, if Iran was to attack, that they're going to be met with their demise. Well, that goes against what the scripture says, man. That goes against the plan of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the scripture tells you, you know, that the Lord dealeth in the kingdoms of men. All right. He set up a king and he brings down one. He set you devils up, man. Just like how he set up Pharaoh. And guess what? He's going to bring down America, man, in a great fashion. Way worse than the way he brought down Egypt. All right. He's going to deliver us out of this place in a way greater fashion than he delivered us out of Egypt. Okay? There's not going to be no more said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of the north. Okay? Which is where? North America. And in the fashion that America is going to go down, all these nations are going to see it, man. All right? And they're going to fear. Okay? And they're going to fear the power that destroyed America, man. All right. So it says. All right. So it says um, viewers took to Twitter to express their dismay at the comments and claim that and, and claim Kyan is dangerously delusional for thinking that the U.S. could start a war with a nation of 81 million people, more than twice the population. So like can end a uh, can start and finish a war with a with a nation of 81 million people. More than twice the population of Iraq in two strikes. So you got a bunch of uh, tweets of people <laughs> basically uh, coming at this guy. Okay. It says, uh, so I'm not going to read the tweets. It says, cotton comments come amid escalation tensions with Iran after Washington deployed a U.S. carrier strike group. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, at the, at the Washington uh, deployed a U.S. carrier strike group to the Gulf region in response to what the administration called troubling and escalatory indications and warnings in Tehran. Tehran has given the world power 60 days to resolve issues with the U.S. or it will renege on its com commitments under the 2015 nuclear deal. President Trump withdrew from the deal last year and reimposed sanctions on the Gulf state. If China, Russia, and Europe can't protect Iran, it's, it has vowed to start enriching uranium to a higher level, okay? And, and, and when this whole thing, that whole um, Iran deal happened with, with, with uh, 
you know, Obama, I believe they said like 2015, we already knew, man, that that thing wasn't going to last because it goes against the prophecies, man. It goes against what, what the Lord said was going to happen, okay, which, which is what? That Iran, Russia, okay, and its allies are going to go against, all right, the daughter of Babylon, okay, and mainly uh, uh, Israel, and it's going to destroy it, man, all right? So there was, there was never no, there was never going to be no peace, all right? There was never going to be no, no war, man. The, the, the no war is going to happen after this last war, after Yahweh Shai returns, man, okay? And destroys all these armies and sets up the kingdom and, and destroys Babylon the Great, America, right? So this is uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 2. It says, behold, I have, actually, let me start at 1. It says, the vision of Obadiah Thus save uh, vision of Obadiah. Thus save the Lord power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor, and we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us ar arise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that have said in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? There, though, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. All right, so the Lord is going to bring down uh, Esau, Edom, you know, man, and his pride. Okay, because the pride, the pride of Esau has deceived him, man. The Lord puffed up uh, uh, Esau, Edom, you know, especially these Babylonians over here, just like how he did to uh, Pharaoh, hardening his heart to think that he can never be touched, he can never be destroyed. All right, thinking that his his country, all right, his name is going to go uh, uh, forever, man. But the Lord is going to completely destroy this place, and it's not going to have no no type of remembrance. Actually, let me get that. Didn't want to bring out too many scriptures. All right, just to show you how how prideful Esau is, man. All right, it says Isaiah chapter thirty four, uh, Isaiah chapter thirty four, verse five. It says, "For my sword shall be bathed in heaven." Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is Esau, Edom, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right. And the scripture tells you that the judgment shall sit. All right. The, the, which means what? It's going to stand. What the Lord said, his, his word should not go out void. OK, so he's the one that's going to act on the minds of these kings. He's the one that's going to bring this uh, this uh, third world's war. OK, and, and he's the one that's going to destroy America, Babylon the Great. All right. And all you Edomites. That are left in throughout the other other parts of the earth, because all you everybody here is going to be destroyed. Okay, and that's why you have a lot of these other nations. They're going to run back to their own country, but a lot of people are going to be destroyed here in a lake of fire because America is that lake of fire, man. America will be that lake of fire by way of the thermonuclear missiles and the chariots of Yahweh Shai when he comes. Right, verse six: The sword of the Lord is filled with blood; it shall be made fat with fatness and with the blood of the lambs and goats. And the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So what are you talking about? You're going to win. This is, you are not going to win this war. Okay. This is it. This is it, man. You know? So um, I ended up with this. Isaiah 63 verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. All right, that's Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to vis visit this place as well, man. You see, Revelation sixteen verse nine, and the great city, which is Babylon the Great, was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and Babel and and great Babylon came into remembrance before Yahweh the Power. To give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. So that's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to he's going to bring the wrath all right, in a whole cup upon Esau, man. He's going to have to drink it, all of it, man, to the dregs thereof upon Babylon the Great, this wicked kingdom. All right. So that's how this thing is going to end with the destruction, complete, utter, fiery destruction of America, man. OK, and nothing is going to be left standing in this place. So, you know, with that, you can you can take that. All right, you, you are Edomites that thinking that you're going to last forever. All right, you're dangerously delusional. Okay.
dangerously delusional and your pride has deceived you. And because of that pride, you're going, you're going to have a horrible, terrible, and destructive fall, man. So with that, call all your Hawabashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.